Guten Tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Oh, hey, we're playing another Ivan. Tight Ivan 688. How exciting. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> He's doing this thing. Uh, I don't really like trading pawns off in the London. But... I think he doesn't leave me any choice. I always forget what the right response this is. I think I let him take with the pawn and then I just take his queen and just get rid of his castling rights or something like that. That seems like the best idea. At this point, I probably want to just take the pawn, honestly. I mean, he, he just gave me two pawns for the price of one. So I'm already up a piece. His bishop is pinned. So I'm almost tempted to just either try to take it or pressure it. Hmm. I could pressure it. It's really easy for him to take. He's got two defenders. So I don't know. It seems kind of pointless to take it. I might try to just go pin his knight instead. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should have played f4 with the bishop. It looks like he's going for sort of a unpin situation. Hmm. Maybe I do just need to pressure this. Um, I'll protect the knight with the bishop. This seems fine. Okay, so he's unpinned his bishop, which is good for him. No harm, no harm in threatening his bishop here. I'll be really surprised if he doesn't go back to h5 here. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so we have uh, the rook and the queen on the same file, which I don't really like. Um, I'd kind of prefer to... Oh, okay, I see what he's going for. So he's going to try to um, basically take the queen with a bishop sacrifice here. So I'm basically forced to either block block in here I like the idea of blocking with the knight so I can protect the knight and then go snipe his knight I think I'm going to do that and in this case if he wants to sack his bishop he can't really do that without losing another piece or losing a piece rather but very sneaky move there. Glad I saw that. <laughs> I've fallen victim to that a lot. <laughs> and I hate when it happens, so. I'm just going to go threaten his knight. I think it'll force his queen to uh, go back to like d7 or something. Okay. 
So I think he's wanting me to take with the knight here so he can still look for his bishop sack um, or take with the pawn. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any harm in putting the bishop here. He can still go for the sack. It doesn't really accomplish anything because the queen's defended by the knight, so I think there's no reason not to take. Okay, so he's just looking for a really simple mate in one here. Uh, which, obviously, we won't let that happen. B2 is protected. Uh, yeah, so we don't really have a choice except to go g3 here. I'm really tempted to take his knight so we can sort of stack his pawns here, but I'm also tempted to just pressure, continue, continuing to pressure his queen. I also need to think about getting my queen off of the same file as this rook here. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to go e4. In case he goes e4, I can take with these two on e4, so he can't take with the queen here. I do need, need to let my bishop out. So let's see, he can, I'm trying to figure out if he can give me check. And I kind of would like to just take this knight out. And just open up the B file here. What I'm worried about is him getting his knight onto G4 or E4. I know I have one pawn protecting, but if he starts pushing up pawns, I'm going to lose a defender there. So I'll have to like defend with the queen. Well, I'm just going to YOLO this. Yeah. Now I can attack his queen. I can attack his queen. And I can leave the knight onto a defended square. I didn't like c4 so much because it was a undefended square. But f3 is at least defended. So, I also need to be mindful always of b2. I can get into a lot of trouble if I ignore b2. Um, also, I've been moving my knights and bishops around a lot, except um, I haven't developed the dark square bishop, so that's just something that needs to get done at some point. Also, I need to get my queen off of the same file as his rook. I may just play e2 next to be really safe. I also do have like a e2, a6 check situation, but I'd rather, I'd rather get my pieces out first before going for something that aggressive. So we don't have any defense on h3.
I really don't want him to take the H pawn here. Let's think. He still can't do a sack, even if he takes on g3. Well, he'd probably he'd probably go for this sack at this point. Hmm. Maybe I just have to move my king up. I know it's really strange to go to g2. But I feel like it's the only move because I need to protect g3 and h3. I don't know. This may be a really big blunder, but I don't want this rook taking the queen. That's sort of my biggest problem at the moment. Okay, so what is he looking for here? So again, there is a G3 idea. I mean, we can, let's think. So it takes on D3, takes on, or sorry, D2, takes on C3. He does, yeah, I mean, he can come in with the snipe. Um, I think what I need to do is just pressure his queen. He's got two attackers on G3, and I really only have sort of the pawn and the king, which I'd rather not uh, defend with. So I can either continue to pressure his queen or push a pawn up. Uh, I'm probably going to go for the pressure queen route. I also do have a uh, queen pressure this way. Yeah, I don't know if it's a blunder or not. I mean, if I do end up taking with this pawn, I can always attack his queen as well. He's playing very aggressively. Ivans like to do that. <laughs> it can also sort of threaten his rook next as well. And then I do have a check here too. Yeah, I'd prefer to keep the pawn structure in front of the king for now. Okay. So he's adding another attacker to g3. So I think I'm just forced to come in with the queen here. Um, I can also just play check and then trade off queens, and then I can uh, win a pawn as well. Um, I would just need to be really careful for like open diagonal plays. But yeah, it's either add a defender. I mean, if I add a defender, I'm going to be in a good spot. And now I'm attacking his knight as well. If he goes something like g5, I can always just play check.
Yeah, this probably has to be done at Winds Upon as well. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't take e4. I, that's my bad. That's defended by the queen. Okay, we saw that coming. Um, I can play it safe and just add another defender to g3 here. I don't know how necessary it is at this point, but... Could also pressure his bishop here. This is... f5 seems like kind of a risky move. But it does add another defender. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather... It's going to be hard to add another defender to f5 if only the queen's protecting it. kind of like the safe route back here. Then I am really blocking my queen in this way. Hmm. I'm just going to go for it. I also can win a knight this way too, since uh, I just blocked his queen from, or basically removed the defender from his knight here. So he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be losing a piece here, sort of no matter what. And I'd rather take the. What would I rather take? I think I'd rather just take the knight. Because if I take his bishop. Okay. Yeah, so a bit of a sneaky move there. I do have a nice discovered check if I go to g4. He doesn't have any checks here. You have a really nice discovered, discovered check here, and then I can win a bishop. I like g4. g4 is good. Oh, I could also just plain win a queen as well. Yeah, h4 is going to be a really nice move. Uh, I think he has to move his king here. I think if he goes, I think if I go h4, there's a chance that he might play e6. So maybe it is better to just to take the bishop and win a piece here. Hmm. You know, I'm just going to try it. It just seems too good to not try. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Failed to calculate. <laughs> um, let's think. That's fine. That's fine. No. Hmm. It's just got interesting. Hmm. 
Uh, I think he's gonna sack his knight here. I'm surprised. Yeah. Feels bad about that check. I really thought I was onto something there. Uh, it was really stupid to not notice that pawn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm really surprised that he hasn't just um, taken this piece already. Uh, he would have been up big time if he would have just traded off there. I know he may have lost like a knight or a bishop there on what was it? G5 or something, but I think he should have just went for it. It's just my opinion. Oh boy. That is a lot, a lot of firepower. Ooh. Sniped. <laughs> kind of have to just take this, right? Pretty sure I just want a rook. I also have down here. This is protected. Things are looking up. Uh, I'm going to pin his bishop here. Hmm. Need to be careful of dark squares. May just offer the exchange here, just get rid of the bishops since I hate those pieces. So a nice fork here. Well, he can't protect both of these squares. Oh, I guess he can. well <laughs> okay so at some point i need to think about trading off i'll just go for the pawn back here takes Man, I'm still uh I'm still salty about that queen move. I thought I was onto something so cool there and then I threw it down the toilet. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm guessing he's going to start eyeing these pawns. So I'm going to eye his pawns at the same time, though. I'm, I'm more concerned about sort of getting his bishop off of the board. Oh, no. Um, that's not good. Abort. <laughs> Let's see. Well, he can't protect this pawn, so... Can he catch up to me? I could have went for the check there. I'm just examining my options. If he decides, well, let's see, this pawn is more or less protected at the moment. So taking this pawn seems too good to pass up. Okay. So I need to be really careful here. Even though I can get this pawn, he can just push his king towards my uh, rook, and I'm going to have a hard time escaping. And then I believe I may just lose the bishop, so I'm almost more tempted to kind of just escape here at this point. Then he'll probably go something like b6 with his knight and then i'll kind of get out yeah so i'm just gonna dip with my bishop i mean really i just i want to trade it off but i probably uh, yeah it's tough i mean maybe my best bet is just to shove the rook sort of behind this pawn and get it up the board. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not going to overthink this move. I have to keep my rook. Probably could push a pawn at some point as well. Do we want to trade bishops off? Truthfully, I'm fine with it. If he takes, I'm probably just going to push this pawn up the board and just start eyeing a queen. Yeah, I figured that much. 
I mean, I can't check him here. That seems kind of pointless. Yeah, I feel like I just have to get this pawn moving at this point. I want to get behind it, is the thing. And I don't want to get forked. Yeah, because this is a pass pawn, so I'm, I'm much more concerned about this pawn here. Maybe I should have threatened this pawn, I'm not sure. The C pawn. It may be a threat. Hmm. Looks like he will win this pawn first. Hmm. Could always start running my pawns up. I do have check, but it just seems pointless. And I don't really want to attack. Yeah, I think I should have uh, tried to eye this pawn a little bit earlier. Well, YOLO. If he wants to take it, so be it. I imagine what he's going to look for next is a d3 with his knight. At which point it'll kind of force me to push up here. Okay, cool. Um, so I probably have to get my king involved. Oh, but it's going to... Oh, my king doesn't really have a place to run. Yeah, these two squares are... All three of these squares are taken sort of how I want to run... The, how I want to run onto the board with the king here. Hmm. Oh, really? If he moves his knight, should be kind of winning for me. Let's think about this. Can't push a pawn. Hmm. Suppose I could push this pawn. Do a sanity check. I think this is fine. Okay. Seems okay. I think he just he has to take this pawn on F four. Oh, good move by him. I mean, his knight is still pinned here, so. Yeah, he's pinned his knight, which is a bit problematic for him. Let's think. He could move his knight back. I think I just have to run for it. I'm not letting go of this rook. <laughs> it's way too valuable. <laughs> nice. It, it was going to be hard for him to find some winning moves there. 
But yeah, GG Tight Ivan. Um, really great name. Oh, looks like I blundered there. Uh, sort of a hardcore in the middle game, and he blundered back. I wonder if that was the sort of check. Ah, so this was a blunder. Okay, cool. Uh, so it looks like a couple blunders from us. This game. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty fun game, so let's just go ahead and do sort of a pull review. So oh, one thing I want to see. So he I played like 14, 50, he played like 12, 85, and 75. Okay, so pretty decent. All book moves so far. Okay, sure. So threatening his queen. I felt like his advantage sort of slipped as soon as he gave up a pawn. So right from the start, I already had two pawns for the price of one. So I felt like that wasn't great for him because now he just had an open center. Um, and I had a, you know, like a semi-open center. Uh, but I, I had at least had a pawn in front of the king. So I, I felt like he shouldn't have played, a, what was that, e5 into d4 um i don't know i mean i know the engine says it's a book move but i don't know ah so trade off knights here since the queen can win sure Yeah, g3 had to be played. I don't think there was any other move that could have been played here. We're still very even up until this point. Uh, so get the queen out. Sure. So he had all this sort of potential uh, attacks going into g3. So it does make, yeah, it makes more sense now. Right, 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 right. He would have not been able to defend c6. So let me just see. What would his next move here be? Okay. And then king g2, yeah. Okay. I'm just kind of curious here. Yeah, so he wins a pawn, right? So it looked like queen g2 was at least somewhat of a right idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't want him to win h3. Um, that was my only idea. Yeah, good move attacking his queen, pressuring. Okay, so we eventually got him to f3. Also good move, good move. And this is such a blunder. Huh. So knight? Why is that such a good move? You're going to end up losing a knight. I'm just curious. I want to see the line here. So knight check. Okay. Oh. I see. I see. I see. I see. So he can't take the knight. Sure, because of this check. And then what would he play? So king v8. But aren't we still just trading off queens here no matter what? Okay. And then he would take on g4. Oh, and then I could win a rook. Ah. Okay. Now this would have been a different story. That's an inaccuracy, really. I'm so shocked. Oh, pawn takes. Oh yeah, that would have been a really good move from him. And then king h2. And then rook h8. And then f3. Gotcha. I think the way I ended up playing it, I was a bit more at my A grade. So this was a blunder. So it looks like I almost had the right idea here. Um, 
I was also kind of curious about taking the bishop here. So this is a bit of a double check. So I guess I could have saved my queen, right? What's his only option here? And then queen f5. To just offer the trade. Uh, rook check. Oh, rook takes on d6. And then queen g6. And then rook g6. Mm, okay. So that wouldn't have been as nice. And then h4, threatened the pawn. Okay. Honestly, I like how it played out. <laughs> yeah. Let me go back to the one idea here. So I I was just figuring that he was going to sack a piece here since he was already up two. So the way that I saw this playing out was knight takes, check. So I could take. Um, he could take with the bishop. I could take his bishop, and then he could take my pawn. And I figured he would have just won material this way. So um, that's what I thought he was going to do. I was a little bit surprised when he pushed a pawn. Um, I think that's what ended up costing him more than anything. Um, yeah, he would have lost a minor piece, but I would have lost a lot more in the process. So I, I think he just should have sacked a piece for this pawn and just opened up the file for his rook. Uh, just my opinion. But then again, I shouldn't have played a blunder. <laughs> so there's always that. Yeah, boy, once his knight got onto f3, it just... Had very little hope. This was a very satisfying move. This was very, very satisfying to find that. I'm usually on the receiving end of these crossboard snipes from the bishops. And to be able to find a fork on the other end, very satisfying. Also a bit, bit tactical because uh, I really wanted to connect the rooks at this point. So um, his knight was kind of blocking the squares where, well, really just the square, d2, where I wanted my bishop to go. Um, so opening up b2 for the dark square bishop was definitely the play there. So I don't normally do this. So. Okay, so we pinned the bishop there. That's good. Yeah, I wish I would have been able to find some better moves here. I wonder if I could have taken this. So out of curiosity. Bishop e4. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have just taken that pawn right away. Uh, I was, what was I concerned about? Sort of him threatening the rook, which I guess he couldn't even do, right? Yeah, maybe I should have just taken that pawn right away. Hmm. Yeah, why was, I, why was I so worried about that? I was worried about his king getting onto b6, but obviously that's impossible since I had uh, the bishop. Yeah, I think that's I overthought that. Taking the pawn just would have been the play. Hmm. Okay. Bishop c3, decent. I really didn't want to move my king because it was protecting those two pawns, or uh, the F pawn, rather. Couldn't he chase me down? This way? Hmm. Rook d5. King b5. Now what? King f1. Hmm. King c4. Right. E4. Oh, protect. Knight D4. Hmm. I see, I see, I see. Cool. It's funny. 
your pass pawn is one step closer to promotion. It's funny, usually the suggestion is to get the rook behind the pass pawn, but in this case, the engine wants to throw the rook on the back rank. Interesting. This is a mistake, huh? Where should he have gone here? E4. Who's winning a pawn? I don't know. I just wanted to protect this pawn. But I think it's okay. Had other ideas in mind. Uh, I kind of want to just play this out to see how it would have gone. Uh, so what could he do? Well, let's think. He could have gone here. Right? I would have pushed. Knight c5. Okay. Okay. And then king c6. Queen e7. King b5. Okay. Queen d6. Knight b3. Queen c7. Knight a1. Oh, is that the only move? Ah. No way. And then rook a5 check. Ah. Very clever engine. Very clever. Cool. I definitely wouldn't have found that. <laughs> cool. Well, GG, tight Ivan. From the mystery country. Good playing with you, and thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next game.